Hey everyone, my name is Rob Balasavis. Really glad to have you here back on my YouTube channel. Uh, glad that you're here. Um, if you are just finding us for the first time because you're looking for something about StreamYard, some type of tutorial, then you're in the right place. If you've been here before, glad to have you back. Hopefully you're learning something new from this channel every time you come by. Thanks for being here. Make sure you subscribe so that you see all of the new videos and new podcast episodes. We've got a podcast on YouTube now, uh, as well, of course, on Spotify. Spotify and all of the different audio platforms as well for the podcast. So glad that you are here. Uh, today we're going to be talking about StreamYard and specifically uh, about the different file types that you can download of your replays, all right, of your live stream replays. All right, so let's uh, jump right into it. All right, so let me share my screen. All right, welcome to my screen. Uh, here it is. And so, first of all, if you are not yet signed up with StreamYard, you don't have a StreamYard account, you need to get one so that you can follow along uh, this tutorial, all right? So go into the description of this video and you will find a link to StreamYard and get started with StreamYard on uh, a free trial. And I suggest going with the pro plan. That way you get access to everything. It's all free anyway uh, for the first, uh, I believe, 30 days. Um, and so you can try out all the different features and then decide which features are important to you and then which plan accordingly would be the best fit. Make sure you join their Facebook group as well. StreamYard is a fantastic, fantastic community. Uh, one of the best out there in the industry uh, to support creators, all right? So make sure you get that account set up. And then what you will then see is your StreamYard dashboard, all right? So you're gonna jump into here. Um, let me pull out the good old marker and you're gonna end up in this broadcast tab right away all right um, now there's other videos here on the channel first thing you want to do of course when you're getting started with StreamYard is setting up your destinations right on the top left there click on destinations and you set up all of your destinations as you see I have multiple destinations here these are basically just the different places that you can live stream into now the beautiful part about StreamYard is that you can just also record Okay, straight up record um, your uh, your uh, interviews. Okay, so you don't have to actually go live. You can record. Okay, and those those are really cool. Uh, you can go in here and set up. We can see. You can go to broadcast right, and then click on the create button right there on the on the top left, the big blue button. And then what you'll see is either you can live stream, you can do a on air webinar which is really cool. I bet you didn't know that, that you could do webinars at StreamYard um, or you could do a recording, okay? And so you can do a recording. I've already done many, many recordings here and I'm gonna show you one example here so that you can see the different types of files because this is a common question that I get. Hey, what kind of files do I get from StreamYard? Do I get separate files for my guest and myself so that I can edit it better, all that stuff. So let me show you, I'm gonna answer that question today, okay? The answer is yes. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go into the video tab right here, okay? On the menu, on the on the left-hand menu, click on videos, and we're gonna go into this example, which is my latest um, interview recording, actually with Franz, uh, who is the head of strategic partnerships at StreamYard and Hopin, uh, great guy, and uh, just happens to be my latest episode. All right, so we're gonna click on this little three dot you know um, item menu thing um, on this particular re video recording and we're gonna see some options pop up okay there's a, there's the options so at a title all that stuff where we want to go is we want to go to download okay download okay click on download and we're gonna see four options here I'm gonna show you each one so local recording is really the coolest one because this is where you see everything so we're gonna click on local recording first it's gonna take you to this recording okay and I'm not gonna play the audio but trust me basically what this does is that it records StreamYard records locally to your computer and also to your guests computer um, so that you gets the highest quality video and audio possible okay um, what you can then do is for each of these, you can see here, there's Francis line right here in mine, okay? We can download each one, okay? Download, download separately, okay? Very cool. So if I click on download for France, for example, 
Another pop-up shows up here and I can download the audio and video together or just the audio by itself, okay? This is what the podcasters are looking for. This makes it easy so then you take both individual audio files, so Francis and also mine, you can download my audio as well separately, okay, from the audio and video. That way you can mix and balance the audio for your podcast super easily. You don't have to chop up and cut and do all the things. It's all here. You just have to fine tune those two audio files. It's going to be so much easier. Okay. So there you have it. So now you know how to download high quality audio files. Okay. And also the video files themselves. Okay, the video files already being uploaded. It's already been uploaded to the cloud on StreamYard, which was a local recording, which is the highest version of that video. Okay, so now let's go back. We're going to go and click on that little three dots again and click on sh uh, download. And you can also download a video recording. Okay, video recording is essentially just a solid video. It is the video of what you see here. So if you go into here and you go into download, local recording, it will be essentially this video that you see on the previewer. Okay, this video right here. Just one file, audio and video as one file. Okay, so that's really easy. You can do that if you like. Now you can also download, oops, I don't want to update thumbnail, download the audio recording. Now this will just be one file that combines both my audio your or your audio and your guests audio. Okay, one audio recording, one audio file. Okay, now the backup audio recordings is the same thing. It will essentially be also a zip file. As you can see here, that's downloading on the bottom left of my screen. It is a zip file. Okay going to show up here pretty quick and it's essentially two separate audio files okay so there's a couple different ways to get uh, high quality high resolution recordings and individual recordings of your audio and video files from StreamYard all right so I hope that that helps you this is really such a game changer especially that this platform is all on your browser you don't have to download anything. You don't need to download any special software or anything. It's all on your browser. It's amazing. And so hopefully this video answers some of your common questions around what kind of files can I get from StreamYard? Is it separate files for me and my guest? Hopefully this video answers that. And if you have new questions, then I welcome those questions as well. Put them in the comments. I wanna answer them for future videos. And there you have it. Thank you for hanging out with me today in this video. God bless you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.